What's up guys, it's Ryan here, and today we're going to be um, bouncing around with languages. So today we're going to be doing a Java um, JFrame and JLabel Hello World tutorial. And what we're going to do today is we're going to display um, text and we're going to align the text with um, X and Y float values and we're going to show where we want this uh, text to be. And um, we're going to be showing how to make a window visible, which is very simple, and set the size of the window and the name of the window. And also how to display text. So you want to go into Eclipse, and you want to make a new project. We're going to call it um, Java. Here, we'll just call it um, Hello JFrame. Okay, we're going to make that. This is just a previous thing I was working with. So Hello JFrame, we're going to go to Source, go to New, Package. And I'm just going to type me.rc. Uh, what do we name it? Hello, JFrame. Basically, with packages, um, I think I've talked about it before. Just make it com dot your business dot um, company name, or I mean um, project name. But in this case, I just do me dot rc with my initials dot hello JFrame name of the project. So after that, yeah, we have a package, and we click the new class button, and then we're gonna call it the um, the name of this. We're gonna call it um, uh, I guess we call it main. If there's no, it's pretty much default basically. Okay, so we're going to have to um, import some things. Import java.awt, period, asterisk. And um, we're going to import more things, but I don't I don't know all the imports by heart. I know we have to import swing, but um, we're going to have to do that right now. So we have to make our main method first. So public static void main string args. The application will not launch if it does not have a main method. But we're just going to make another method too, just to, and we're going to pass it over. So make a public static void, and we're going to call this window. So then in here, we're going to want to do window. So what this does, this is a really, this is what I love about Java. You can just pass things over. Like once the main method is launched, it launches this method right here, which is window. So whatever code is in here is launched on the main. So there we go. We're going to make, make our JFrame now. So we do JFrame, and we're going to call this window equals new. JFrame and what the window will be displayed at the top text, like up here, the top of Eclipse. We're going to call it hello JFrame. A semicolon. We're going to have to import something. That's why we have an error. Yep, saying swing, we have to import. So then after this, what we're going to be doing is we're going to set our window to visible and set the size. So we do window dot set visible is going to be Boolean, so it's true. Then we do window dot set size and it's x and y so we're gonna do I prefer 500 by 500 okay so now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna make our j label so j label um, label equals new j label and what text will be displayed in this label so we do I guess hello world <laughs> So once we do this, oh yeah, then we do um, a comma, jlabel dot center, all in capitals, center property, oh, jlabel dot center. It's unused, so don't worry about that. And then what we do to set the, um, so right now if we launch this, it's going to display our window for the 500 by 500 with hello jframe, just like we asked it. There we go. And the window is resizable. Which you can um, later set the property to be not the size, not resizable if you if you wished. So now we have all of this. We're going to declare or, or we're going to state what our label is going to be doing. So label dot set. Uh, what was it again? Set alignment x. And I'm just going to put zero because it's it's the center, of like a grid. So we do set alignment. This time we're going to be doing alignment y because x and y it's like a graph. So y is going to also be 0 because it is displayed directly in the center. So I'm just going to comment this JFrame. I'm going to comment this. It's just, I usually like to comment things just for ease. So what is AWT doing? Don't have to use JWT. Don't worry about that. Alright, then we can launch it. And our label is not there. Maybe we do need a WT. Hmm, that's weird. 
Let me go look at this. Oh, I forgot about the most important thing. I'm sorry, guys. You have to add the component to the window. Otherwise, it's not even going to know what it's doing. So let me just do window.add and then label. I'm really sorry about that. That's a dirt move. But, uh, okay. I was just messing around with someone in HUD. So launch it, and it will have it right in the center. I promise this time. And there it is. Hello, world. So this tutorial is basically about it, no matter where you do it, it will show it directly in the center. Even if it's resized, it will resize with it to always be on the graph point 0 and y and x 0. So that is our Hello World tutorial, guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it.